On this episode of Doing the Most, we're going to show off a little project we've been working on. It's called Sip and Savor. Moment brews and berries are tools, everything from meat to rose. Big creation, fermentation, and ebriation, doing the most. Sip and Savor, or Savor for short, is a deck of cards. Now, I had this idea a long time back when I was talking to my friend, Man Made Mead. Wouldn't it be nice if folks had some kind of helper to develop a vocabulary around what they're sensing when they're tasting something? So I sat down and started writing and pulled a bunch of terminology from the internet and wrote a bunch of definitions and then I pulled in some volunteers, some homebrewers, vintners, and mazers to help me refine. They came in and helped me do some copy editing, we added some more terms, and we kind of massaged and refined everything until we had this big old deck of tasting cards. And there are cards in here that kind of run the gamut of flavors and aromatics. They could be positives, they could be faults, they could be anywhere in between. With the basic idea being that homebrewers like yourselves could have a deck of cards that describes pretty much everything you're ever gonna sense in a wine, mead, cider, or beer. And out of this basic concept grew a few various ways that the deck could be used. For one, you could use it in trying to describe your own homebrews. Or you could break out the deck with friends and give them some lingo to use to describe what they like or don't like about your brews to help you refine your process. Or it also functions as a drinking game. And we've got a whole card in here that explains how that works. But basically, there's a bottle for everybody playing Everybody gets to judge every bottle, and you get to go through a ton of different cards that way to really hone in on what the group is actually tasting when they're tasting something. So this deck was really made to scratch my own itch. I wanted a deck like this and nothing out there seemed to exist. And then the volunteers that helped me put it together obviously really wanted the deck too once they were so bought into this cool concept. Then I posted it around the internet in a few different places and it seems like a lot of folks are interested in it. And there's quite a few different avenues we could go through to get these into folks' hands. And I gotta tell you, printing a deck like this isn't exactly cheap. At least it's not as cheap as I thought it would be. So we're still exploring ways that we can hopefully get these into folks' hands. And that's kind of looking like it might be a Kickstarter campaign at this point. Now that said, we have test decks. Ugh. We have several test decks because we're play testing this and we're copy editing it and we're trying to figure out exactly what works how it works and how to make sure that we have the most excellent deck of cards possible so all that is to say we're going to give a couple of these away and you can sign up at the web address right down there at the bottom of your screen and we'll do a drawing live on one of our live streams coming up now this may be the part of the video where everybody jumps over to our website and fills out the giveaway form and never comes back. But for those of you who decided to stick it out, I'm gonna show you how this deck works practically. Fortunately, many months ago, my good friend Man Made Mead left this bottle in the back of my fridge and uh, I found it recently. So we're gonna open it up and see if we can find a few cards that match what we sense in the bottle. I can tell you that it's fragrant. Each of these cards includes four different things. There's coating at the top for the type of drink where you would most commonly find that descriptor, whether that's mead, wine, beer, or cider. There's coating at the bottom for whether or not it is flavor, aroma, or both. Then of course, there's your descriptor and a description of the descriptor. All of these combined help you determine if this card applies to the drink you're enjoying or not enjoying. So let's select some cards. I probably pulled out way too many cards, but here's the ones I liked. Fragrant. Fragrant is a nose only. That means aroma only, but it definitely is fragrant. As far as descriptors that apply to both your nose and your mouth, bright, personality filled, fruity, toffee, clean, deep, 
dessert, chocolate, and layered. For cards that apply only to flavors, we've got off dry, tart, harmonious, lasting, juicy, smooth, and satiny. This mead has a bright pop of acid, nice cherry flavor right up front, which kind of flows into a deep, dark, chocolate, rich, and just slightly tannic, but not tannic or astringent enough for me to actually have pulled either of those cards. It is a nice, satiny, and smooth kind of tannin that kind of flows around your palate. It doesn't really stick to it. and doesn't really pull from it. I'm sure there are other cards in here that apply to this drink, but it gives you a little bit of a sense of how you might go through the deck while you're tasting something that you or a friend has made. Or say you were going to a wine bar to do wine tastings, you could pull out your deck and say, you know what, I'd really like something that's textured, mouth coating, and you know, I want it to have a little bit of a, little bit of a leather note in there. What do you got? I think these cards are super cool and super fun and I'm really, really pleased with how they came out and I'm really thankful to the volunteers that helped put this deck together. There's still a little bit of work to be done on it, but I would love for you to follow the project. You can easily do that by going to our website right down there and signing up for this giveaway. That lets me be able to email you later once we kind of know what the next steps on this project are. Thank you for watching. You can follow us on all the social medias. And of course, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications since we do a ton of homebrewing content here on the channel. And we'd love for you to walk along that homebrewing journey with us. Until next time, happy brewing, stay safe, enter the giveaway, and cheers.